my son always talked to his imaginary friend, Timmy. It had been a harmless and endearing quirk of his childhood. One day when I decided to inquire further, I asked him to describe Timmy, expecting to hear about an imaginative character with fantastical features. Instead, he calmly replied. He looks just like you daddy. The words sent an unexpected chill down my spine, my heart pounding with unease. Why would my son envision his imaginary friend to resemble me? I tried to dismiss it as a cry for attention. Perhaps I wasn't spending enough time with my son. I decided I would remedy that, immediately, and hopefully this imaginary friend nonsense would simply fade away. Over the following weeks, my son's interactions with Timmy grew more frequent and peculiar. He would engage in whispered conversations, laughter echoing through the empty rooms of our home. Sometimes, I caught him sharing a secret smile with an invisible presence, his small hand extended as if in conversation with someone unseen. I continued to tell myself this was a normal stage in a child's development. Plenty of children had imaginary friends during their childhoods. This became harder and harder to convince myself of each time I caught a snippet of my son's conversations with Timmy. I'd hear my son say things like, We'll do it soon, Timmy. And, I promised you I would. One night, as I checked in on my son before bedtime, I found him sitting up in his darkened room, speaking softly to the shadows. Timmy wants to play with you daddy. He said, his voice filled with an eerie solemnity that sent shivers down my spine. Reluctantly, I agreed to join their play, sitting cross-legged on the floor beside my son. In the dim moonlight, I tried to ignore the nagging feeling that something was terribly amiss. We played with his toys, but it wasn't long before I realized I was not alone in my actions. I felt a cold breath against the nape of my neck, and a whispered voice, just like my own, said. It's time to play daddy. I jerked my head to the side, but simply found empty space behind me. My eyes moved back to my son who smiled innocently at me over his action figures. I shook my head and turned my attention back to the toys. My paranoia was truly getting out of hand. I had watched far too many horror movies. My son was a sweet boy with an overactive imagination, that's it. After a few moments, my son said. This is fun daddy. I wish we could play together forever. His assertion filled me with warmth as I smiled down at him. Me too son. His eyes lit up. Really? You promise? he asked. Of course. I told him. The heartwarming feeling melted into ice as my son's eyes shifted to stare behind me. Timmy, daddy said yes. Said yes to what, my question was cut off as I was yanked from behind. Stumbling to the floor, my head banged onto the hardwood. My vision spun and my hearing became muffled. Disoriented as I was, I couldn't seem to grasp the scene that was unfolding before me, but a terrible feeling of foreboding had overcome me. A man stood over my son. They were speaking with one another, but my hearing remained muted. After a moment, the man glanced over his shoulder, revealing his face to me for the first time. My heart became a beast, desperate to escape the confines of my chest. The man smirked over at me as the realization finally hit me. Indeed, Timmy looked just like me. My son's voice brought my attention back over to him. Isn't this great daddy? Now you and I can play together forever.